Maria Bartiromo, and Jonathan Steinberg. Source, Getty Images Maria Bartiromo's husband, Jonathan Steinberg, has had a lot of success in the world of finance. Steinberg's prosperous financial career reflects his wonderful marriage to his wife. Maria Bartiromo and Jonathan Jono S. Steinberg are one of the most influential couples in media and finance. Jonathan is the chief executive officer of Wisdom Tree, a company well known for its exchange traded funds. Maria, meanwhile, is a journalist and news anchor on Fox Business, a channel focused on financial and economic news. She also hosts Morning with Maria and Wall Street with Maria. Maria Bartiromo and Jonathan Steinberg attend the Wall Street Money Never Sleeps screening at UA Theaters on August 22, 2010, in Southampton, New York. Source, Giddy Images 23 years since the wedding passed already Maria and Jonathan tied the knot in Quag, New York, in June 1999, at Jonathan's father and stepmother's residence. Barta Romo was 31 when she married her husband, then 34. Even though she has been married to her husband for more than two decades, Maria has kept her surname. Retaining her surname at that time meant she could keep her growing reputation in the media industry. Maria, a New York University graduate, was then a news anchor for the financial news cable network CNBC-TV. Similar to her prosperous career, Jonathan is also an influential investor. Jonathan and his wife now own a vast townhouse on Manhattan's Upper East Side and another residence in the Hamptons, where they frequently spend their holidays. Jonathan Steinberg started his business at 20. Jonathan is the son of the late Wall Street executive and billionaire Saul Steinberg. When he was alive, Saul was known as a corporate raider because of his intense drive to succeed in finance. The late billionaire, who passed away in 2012, had significantly influenced his son's life and professional career. When he was 13, the younger Steinberg showed an interest in finance. Jonathan studied at the University of Pennsylvania's Wharton School of Business, but never graduated. He dropped out before his senior year to work at Bear Stearns, the investment company where he had his summer internship. A few years later, Jonathan, then 20, decided to start his own publishing company. He purchased two small tabloid publications using the money he had inherited. Both publications he bought were profitable, and he later expanded his financial media company, Individual Investor Group. His company, however, collapsed in the early 2000s. Source. Giddy Images Despite the company's crisis, Jonathan returned to his game, and in 2018, he reportedly rebranded his company, Wisdom Tree, which came out victorious in the years that followed. He was able to reward himself for all of his hard work. Jonathan and his wife now own a vast townhouse on Manhattan's Upper East Side and another residence in the Hamptons, where they frequently spend their holidays. Many people had mixed reactions when they heard Mariah's voice providing safety messages to passengers in New York's Grand Central Station in 2008. She said the only way to succeed is to put in hard work and not take shortcuts. However, Maria Bartiromo's success did not come without its risks. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe.